Okay. Today I am going to be rebuilding this brake caliper. This is for a Kawasaki KZ650. And clean the inside. Splattered a little paint on there earlier today, but it'll be all right. And uh, there's a groove in there that gets a flat O-ring, I guess you can call it. That's what a buddy of mine calls it. So that's what I'm going to call it. <clears throat> and here is the flat O-ring. If I can get out of the package without destroying it. I knew I could. Okay. Flat O-ring. Alright. I'm going to dip this in a little bit of brake fluid to lubricate it. Okay. Get it nice and lubricated. And then I'm going to slip it in here. And there's a groove in there, believe it or not. There it is. Yep, there we go. There we go. Okay. And there is my flat O-ring. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's, it's in there. And now, this piston goes down inside of there. And when I'm done, you see this groove here on the outside of this uh, piston. This, this dust cover will fit down like that. It just fits right into that groove. That's all it does. Not really anything special. So, alright, I'm going to dip my piston into some brake fluid now. I'll go about halfway up the piston. Let it drain most of the really loose stuff. You gotta be careful with brake fluid. You do not want to spill any of this on the paint of your motorcycle because it will destroy paint. Alright, once you get that piston started in there, just kind of get it to start. It's going to be tight, so you're not going to be able to push it in by hand. And you want a good tight seal. Because that is what break, gives you your braking power. Alright, take your C-clamp and, and keep it nice and straight. And start pushing that piston down into that bore. There. See how it goes right on down in there? And that's all you got to do. You get it down to about halfway. I don't like a whole lot of this brake fluid around here, so I take and I put some on there, but I just use a little screwdriver and just dribble some on there. Dribble it around on that side. I'll get some here on the back side. Just push that piston right on down. Push that piston on down in there until it bottoms out. When it bottoms out, you're good. Just release your C-clamp. Your piston's going to stay down in there. That's not a problem. And just back your C-clamp off. Pull it out of there. All right. <clears throat> Now to get this dust ring, this dust seal on here, I figured out the best way is uh, take this ring and put go on and put it inside the seal right now. It's a little difficult. Just stretch it right on around there. You want it, it's nice and tight, so that's good. 
There we go. All right. And you want to make sure you push it down to the flat part of the this ring. Just push that seal down all the way around. You don't want it to tear as you're driving that ring in. So that's what you do. You can see how you got a little bit of this here. You push that, that dust boot, dust seal, whatever you want to call it, push it down flat. Now you can't see that, but this ring is tapered just a little bit. These edges are tapered, so they'll go on in there. And what you do then, <clears throat> you push it down on top. And you get it in, just get it started. You got to kind of push it down and get it started all the way around. Don't even worry about this piston yet. All right. Now you don't want to use any steel or anything on this. So what I did, I cut me a little dowel. I got a hammer around there somewhere. I could probably use that, but it's a universal hammer, right? <laughs> so you just get it right down there on that ring. And tap. Then you come out to the front and tap. And you tap it on the side here. And you tap it on tap it on this other side. Alright, then you take a look, see what you got. Yep, she's going down in there. hard to tell you just got to kind of feel your way through this but just tap it down in there easy get your piece of wood like I did and just keep on tapping it working it around Yeah, you don't want to hit the knuckles too hard. That's why it's probably not best to use a hammer. Anyway, as you're getting on down in there, you can kind of move it to the inside and move it back to the front again. Take a look and see what you got. You can kind of feel it. And... Uh, It's just about in there, but it feels like I got a little bit further to go. Let me hit it down here in the back one more time. All right, there's that. Get a little bit more in the front. And a little bit on this side. this side and I'm pretty sure I'm done yep. all right and that's how you get that ring down in there that ring is what actually holds the seal in and then you just you just push this seal down the top of it down in that groove I showed you earlier just get it right down in that groove and that's all there is to it there you go once you get her in that groove, you got it. Okay, and that is it. Now we got this uh, brake caliper for our KZ650. Got a new seal, the piston's been nice and cleaned up, and got, now we got a new dust cover, and this thing is ready to go back on the motorcycle. And there you go, all right.